Hello friends, I'm Laura and I'm here with your weekly occupational therapy. This week we're gonna do activities with music. So we're actually gonna make rhythmic musical instruments using things from our house. You can use two pencils or two chopsticks or two pens or two markers. You can even use empty, um, empty, what are they called? The paper towel rolls. I'm going to use these two pens and basically we're going to tap to the rhythm of this song. Actually, when we listen to the song, they all tell us how to do so. Okay, ready? Do you have yours? Cool. I'm going to play the song. So listen closely. There it is. Great job, everyone. All right, everyone. So now we're gonna make our own paper drum, just like this one. So this is the top and the side of the drum with decorations and the bottom of the drum. This is where you would tap your sticks. Okay, so you will need these printouts, a square, an oval, and some triangles, and some circles, okay? And if you weren't able to print this out, that's okay. You, um, you, can, have, you can draw these yourself or have a parent help you draw it. Um, you just want to make sure that the oval is about as wide as this square because it's going to be the top of our drum. And the square is going to be the side and the bottom of our drum. Okay? All right. And actually, I find that the, the lines here are a little bit too um, thin for me. So I like to thicken it with some marker. So I'm going to just do that right now. You're going to need your markers. And I'm just going to thicken my line. Just draw over this, the oval line. Put this cardboard down. I like to thicken the line because it helps me see it so that when I cut, I stay on the line or close to it. So go ahead. This is what my ovals look like so far. What do yours look like? Ah, cool. All right, keep on going. So the triangles are together and two triangles together make a square. So that's why they might look like a square or a box to you. 
But you see, this is a triangle and that is a triangle. Cool. And finally, I'm going to just darken my square a little bit with my, my um, marker. Okay. Now, we can either, if you've already colored your um, designs on the drum, that's fine. I'm going to color it right now with you. Um, so I have some crayons. I love me some crayons. And I'm going to see, what color is your favorite color? My favorite color for a drum, I don't know, maybe I'll do, well, I know that the oval is going to be the drum top and it's going to sit on the drum like this. So maybe I'll make the oh, the drum top a, diff a slightly lighter color than the drum bottom. I'll make the drum top yellow because I like that. But you can make it any other color that you want it to. You want to make a brown drum, you can make a brown drum or an orange drum or even a blue drum if you'd like. But I like to get the top of the drum to be kind of a light color so that um, so that it is a little bit, I don't know, it kind of pops out a little bit to you. Yeah. How's yours looking? This is mine. What do you think? So, and then the drum bottom, I could do yellow again, but I'm going to do slightly darker. And I think, what's darker than yellow? A lot of things are darker than yellow, but I want to, I'm going to pick some, I think I'm going to pick, do you think brown will look good? Let's see. Do you think brown will look good on that? I'm going to try brown. Okay, so I'm going to use my crayon. Cool. It's going to be like this. So it's going to be a drum top. And now on the bottom of the drum right here at the base of the drum, I'm going to put the triangles here. And I think it'll look nice to have a different color than brown as my triangle. So maybe I'll make it red. You can make them red. You can make them. So I'm just going to color a few of these triangles red. But if you want to make it a different color, like purple, blue, orange, go for it. You can even make some, like one, one orange and one, one red and one blue, whichever you like. I'm just going to color four triangles. I think only three fit. So let's see, I'll color I'll color four triangles red. So here we go. One triangle, another upside down triangle. So that's two, three, and four. Great. Finally, these circles are gonna be at the top of our drum. They're gonna be the little pins that keep the drum head, the yellow part onto this top part that attached it to the top part of the drum. And I'm going to make those, hmm, I guess I'll make them black. But you can make them whichever color you like. Yeah.
want to see mine? Looks like that. What are your look yours look like? Ooh, very nice. Those are different colors than I picked. Oh, some of them, some people pick, picked uh, similar colors. I think they're going to look great. All right, now, what do you think the next step is? What do we have to do in order to put these together? You got it. We have to cut it. So let's get our scissors. And remember how we're holding our scissors. Which one's the top and which one's the bottom? You're smart. This one's the top. The little one's on the top. And which hand, which fingers go in the little one up here? This one? No. This one? No. This one? No. Nope. Those go down here. That means my thumb goes in the top. And I actually keep my first finger out of the loop on the bottom and just keep put my middle finger in the bottom. But you can put in more than one finger in the bottom loop. My friend does it this way. Two in the bottom, like that. All right. So I'm going to use my helper hand to hold the paper. And I'm first going to cut out the yellow oval. So I'm going to hold this because it's on the long side here. I'm going to cut, 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 cut. Try to follow the black line as best as I can. Remember, no one is perfect. So we're just having fun and doing our best, best work that we can. Can't wait to see what your drum looks like. Ooh. This is how mine looks. Did okay on staying on the line. Good job. Now I'm going to start cu uh, cutting out the square or uh, the red triangles. You can do it two ways. You can cut out the box first, the square first, like cut all the way around, and then cut the middle line, or you can cut out each triangle one at a time. For me, it's easier to cut a square out like this and then cut on the line. Yeah. But some people like to cut out the triangle like this. Now the circles. Is it hard? Is, are you having trouble with the circles? I'll, I'll show you how I do it. So I'm going to hold it with my helper hand. And I'm going to cut this way towards my helper hand. And then I'm going to cut and turn. Cut and turn my paper. Cut like this. Cut, change, turn. Cut, change my helper hand. Grip, pinch, turn. Cut, helper hand, pinch, turn. There you go. So hopefully that's a little easier for you. These ones are harder. You know, sometimes I like to just cut off this part to get to these guys. Turn, cut, turn. Cut, turn. Awesome. Cut, turn, 
with my helper hand and I can't turn anymore. Reposition, cut, turn with my helper hand, pinch, cut, and move and cut. Cool. All right, now we have our drum. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna paste the drum head right on here. So, what you're gonna do is can you find, touch the top of your drum and touch the middle of your drum head. You're gonna put it, not on top, but right there, where that corner is right on the middle of your oval. In fact, it's hard for me sometimes to know where that is, so I'm gonna just make a little dot. So right here, where my drum head is, I'm gonna make a little dot right there so I know where to line it up. Same thing on the other side, right on the middle. So therefore, you can line it up together. Okay. So here, I don't know if you can see that. What I did, I put the drum head right on top and then I put a little mark on this the this paper and on this paper right there to, to line it up. And same thing on this side. So I know exactly where this paper should go, okay? And now I'm gonna paste. So you'll need your glue stick. Ugh. Glue stick. It works. Oh, there it is. I didn't quite line it up where I said it. I would, but I tried. I think it looks good. You think I did okay? Okay, thanks. Now I'm gonna use my triangles. I have my triangles. And I'm gonna actually put it down and see where they should be. I'm gonna put my triangles like that. I'm going to put three triangles there, like that. So, and you could put your triangles actually anywhere you want on your, your drum. I mean, you can decorate it however you like. Triangle there. Triangle here. It's okay if you need help too. An adult or a family member can help you. There we go. And now, here are my black circles. So this is this is how mine looks. How does yours look? Cool. I think some people did it differently than I did, which is neat. Put my circles. I'm just gonna put it below my the my yellow drum top. Cool. You know, sometimes people ask me, is it okay to put the circles in different places? Yeah. This is your drum. You can have it as however you like it. So this is my drum. And it's pretty cool, right? I like it. All right, everyone. Now we're gonna do a little bit of writing. So 
you can grab your pencil or your pen and have some lined paper available to you. If you don't have lined paper, you can also just draw the lines like this, a top line, a bottom line, and a dotted line in the center. Maybe you can ask your family member or your parents to do so. Okay. So since we just made our drum, I want to write down that this is my drum. So I'm going to write down Laura's drum on the bottom or the top of my paper. I'll do the top. So right here, I'm going to practice, okay? Now you should write your first name on your practice paper while I write my first name on the practice paper in capitals. Go ahead and spell it out. And then together we will write the apostrophe S and the drum on the next line together, okay? So you write your name, I'll write my first name. And then we'll come back together and write the rest. Now it's Laura, but now I'm gonna put Laura's. So I have to put a little apostrophe and I'm gonna do a capital S. Do you guys know how to start the capital S? If you do, it's a magic C letter from the top. So if magic C, I start right here, go up, touch the top line, and I actually put my C right there to the middle line. Then after that, I do a curved around, it's like a backward C that just barely touches the bottom line. And that's my, my S. So Laura's, and then now I'm gonna do drum. Where do I start? I start at the top, top line. Go all straight down for a capital D, drum, D. And a curve. The R, just like before, R. A little curve to the middle, then one tail that goes under, under the water. Draw, uh, um. You from the top, go back to the bot, or go, go to the bottom and to the top again. And then drum, m. Yeah, that's right, M. From the top, down to the bottom, I'm gonna pick up Take this one down to the bottom, pick up. I'm gonna start up here and go down there. Laura's drum. So you can continue to practice writing your name, apostrophe S, and then drum on these other lines. And you can even practice your lowercase if you already know those lowercase letters. And then when you feel confident and ready, we can write it on your own drum. So enjoy practicing your letters um, and enjoy tapping on your drum to different music that you might hear throughout the week. Watch. Put my drum down and I could Till next week, this is Laura. I'll see you then.